Looking at another example, uh, we're looking for values of C once again that uh, fit Rolle's theorem for this function on a certain interval. Well, let's just be very methodical about this and just go ahead and apply uh, the theorem after we check the conditions. So checking the conditions, one, is it continuous? Yes, it is continuous. Two, is it differentiable everywhere within the interval? Well, f prime of x equals 3x squared minus 2x. It's a very normal function. There are no uh, logs. There are no asymptotes. There are no <coughs> rational uh, functions. Uh, it's not a rational polynomial division function. So it is differentiable everywhere. So that is also a check. Now, three f of a must equal f of b must equal 0. So f of a, which equals 0 cubed minus 0 squared plus 2 equals 2, which does not equal 0. So once again, the conditions are not satisfied. And you cannot carry on with the theorem if the conditions are not satisfied. So looking at this final example, um, let's hope the conditions are satisfied so we can apply the theorem. Let's check them. One, is it continuous everywhere? Yes, it is continuous everywhere within that interval. So let's, let's take a look at what this function looks like first. Well, 6 times the absolute value of x, we know that 6x is just a very uh, highly sloped uh, straight line. But absolute value of x will flip everything on the left side, the negative x axis, into a positive value. So the graph looks something like this. So now, Let's check, is it continuous everywhere? Yes, there are no holes or asymptotes or any strange activity. So yes, continuous on negative 2, 2. What about 2? Is it differentiable everywhere? Um, here's the tricky part. No, it is not. Because there is a sharp edge, and we know that sharp edges are not differentiable. So it is not differentiable. And this means that we don't have to check the third condition because the second is not met. And that's all that matters is that one condition is not met. So uh, there is no value of C that applies to Rolle's theorem once again. So Rolle's theorem will come up on the AP exam as is. It won't get much more tricky. Uh, <clears throat> much trickier than this. Uh, so just keep reviewing the basic Rolle's theorem and remember the conditions and you will be fine. So thanks for watching educator.com. We'll see you in the next lesson.